Hi Capricorn, this is Sammy Lane. I'm going to be doing a reading from today, the 18th, until the end of May, the 31st. These messages will not resonate with everyone, but it is my intention and my hope that it does resonate, um, at least some messages, with most of you. I do ask Spirit to give me messages for the entire collective, or at least the largest possible group of the collective of Capricorn. So, we're going to get some oracle cards, we're going to see your energy for the second half of this month, and then we'll do a little bit of tarot and finish with some angel messages for you. I would like to look into your love situation and finances, if that comes up, sometimes it doesn't, and the other readings I've been doing today, a lot have just been healing and spiritual work. So, I like to focus on the spiritual work since uh, a lot of channels like to focus on love and all that jazz. So, actually, let's start with these. Let's get going here. These are the Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards. Spirit, please give us clear messages. Capricorn. From now to May 31st. From now to May 31st. What is the focus for Capricorn? Messages from our angels and ancestors. Ooh. Star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Wow, I really like that. And magic guardian, unlock the magic within. Wow, you guys may be leveling up this month. We do have a lot of uh, planetary transits happening. We have Saturn going retrograde on the 22nd and into the 23rd. Then on the 26th, we have a full moon lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. Uh, and then we're going to be having Mercury retrograde on the 29th. We're already feeling the pre-shadow phase of Mercury. So, you know, if you're having technical difficulties, communication, misunderstandings, travel, traffic issues, you can blame Mercury. So let's see here. Star Ancestor. You know, I was going to pull one of these Pleiadian cards. And I didn't. Uh, because I thought, you know what? Capricorns are super grounded. They might be weirded out by these Pleiadian cards. But then you got this Star Ancestor card. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let's get a message from the Pleiadians. This is the Shiji Oracle Cards deck. Pleiadian messages for Capricorn from now till May 31st. That's too many. What is Capricorn's focus? What messages do they need to hear from the Pleiadians? Okay, there it is. Thank you, Spirit. The knowledge of your true self and what you want to be and create is up to you. It's also up to you as to how many facets of yourself will become masters, because all of them can be if you seek it. Intent and service is where it all starts. So, following the voice of your soul, the Pleiadians are saying to you, you can create anything that you want. And however many facets of yourself that you want to work on or up level or master, you can do it all. It starts with intention and it starts with a desire of, of serving others in the collective. Okay, so let's see about this. Follow the voice of your soul and magic guardian. Let's read these because I haven't seen these before. Star Ancestor. This is so cool. See the pyramids? Okay, follow the voice of your soul. Heed the messages coming directly from your soul. The Star Ancestors is a term for extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to the healing and growth of the world. These incredible beings are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the night sky and see the stars. 
I believe that's because they are remembering their starry connections and those are what this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have otherworldly support and that your friends from the stars can help you if you are willing to be helped. They can support you in connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be a bright light in the world and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information but memories. Your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up but will also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Wow, Capricorn! You guys are really surprising me with your energy this month. And then we have Unlock the Magic Within. So, I'm excited. You guys are remembering possibly past lives, remembering connections to your star family. Where is this magic? Oh, just kidding. This is a new deck for me, and I'm very excited to have it. It is by Kyle Gray. One of these days, I'm going to find this and read it to you. <laughs> okay, I found it. Great. Okay. Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within. Stop looking outside yourself and recognize that you have incredible power within, Capricorn. Magic, with a K, is the energy of the universe that allows you to manifest and create through the direction and power of your will. It changes according to your frequency. The Magic Guardian is a representation of the Angel of Magic who helps you direct your will to bring something into creation. She's the angel who swirls around shamans and wise ones when they are calling on the energy of magic to help them manifest something that will be healing and supportive of their path. She is the angel of all magic that is directed for the highest good of whoever is working with it. You are the magic. You are the answer. You have it all within you. If you've been searching for an answer, Capricorn, or a reason to focus, Recognize that all that you are looking for is already within you. Wow. You are a powerful and magical person with the capacity to direct your intentions and will your desires into being. But your power can only be powerful when you own it. So take time to acknowledge it. Your ability to dedicate yourself to a goal and make it happen is a real gift. Are you kidding me? Capricorn, that's you. You are the one that meets all the goals. You're the hardest working. You're the planners. You're the follow throughers. You get it done. I got to read that again. Your ability to dedicate yourself to a goal and make it happen is a real gift. That is so on point right now. That is what you are being guided to recognize now. Wow. I am loving it. Ouch. Okay, let's do Starseed Oracle. Oh, this is way deeper than I thought I was going to get with you guys. I'm really liking it. I'm not saying you guys are shallow, but you know, you're more grounded. You're an earth sign. And I just did water signs, and they were pretty spiritual, but this is even more cosmic and magic. I mean, you guys are doing something big the end of this month. Tell me about Capricorn from now to the 31st of May. What is Capricorn doing? Okay. Oh my gosh. Your life is a canvas. Can you see it? Artist. Manifestation. Creative accountability. Not ability. Accountability. 
This is so pretty. Can you see there's like a lady standing up there? It's very artsy. Anyways, your life is the canvas and you're the magician. Follow the voice of your soul. I can't even with you guys. You are creating something so big this month. You can have and create anything you want. It's up to you. Becoming the master of all of these facets of yourself. Using your magic within. Manifesting and being the artist that you are. Creative. Your life is the canvas. This is so beautiful. Thank you, Spirit, for this reading. Please give Capricorn. Whoa. Okay, there's one. We got one. Deep knowing. Ooh, this gives me a Scorpio vibe. Some of you may have some Scorpio in your chart. Um, like Scorpio rising, moon, or north node. Wow, deep knowing with the moon there. Number 43. Any other? Okay, that's way too many. But I'll take the first one that flew out. A leg up. Number 34. No way! <gasps> 43 and 34. I, let me tell you something. 34 is one of my numbers. So when I saw 43, I automatically flipped it in my mind. And then this one popped out. 34. Can you believe it? All right, we're going to read it. Deep knowing. We'll do that one first since it came out first. Deep knowing. Intuition. Oh, yeah. Listening to the oracle within. Empathy, hypersensitivity. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with Source, the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access, <laughs> to access their inner guidance. Excuse me. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what was available in the limitations of human experience. You are given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is still 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then act accordingly. You're now invited into the sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Beautiful. You guys are really connecting at this time to your higher guidance. If you want it. A leg up. Number 34. Receiving help delegating authority and interdependence so this is a time where you can rely more fully on others for help your community your family members your co-workers people who are there to help you and Capricorn I know that it's hard for you to ask for help or to even let people help you even when you really need it but this is what spirit is inviting you to do because honestly, if you're connecting to the higher realms the way it seems that you will be, uh, manifesting more and connecting cosmically to your guides, whether in awake state or sleeping state, your intuition is going to be getting more hits and signals this month. And so you may kind of have this chatter going on in your mind and it may make it a little bit difficult. You guys are amazing, but it may make it more difficult to handle your responsibilities. So this card talks about delegating authority. Let somebody else handle it for once. You know, let somebody else step in and, and do what's needed in order for you to get a little bit of help. You've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with who can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. Help come help comes to you in all the areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. 
Now is such a time. Okay, so teamwork is going to be important for you in this next stage of your journey. Did we already do this one? Yeah, we did this one. Didn't we? Yeah, we did all those. Okay, cool. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to jump into tarot. Please tell us about Capricorn from now till May 31st. Capricorn energy. What are they working on? What are they going through? What are they dealing with? How can they create? So creation, manifestation is going to be really big for you guys. Listening to your inner voice and your intuition. And then letting others help. And two, discovering the aspects of yourself that you would like to master a little bit better. Or the creative parts of you that you would like to explore a little bit more. Because remember, Spirit is saying your life is the canvas. Okay, you have so much that you can do. You never want to put yourself in a box. Especially when you're being told and given a lot of uh, helpful guidance, it seems like, this month. Tell me about Capricorn Spirit. Okay, firstly, we have uh, Three of Cups in Reverse. This can be dealing with bad habits. Okay, um, for some people, overindulgences. This could be eating too much. This could be drinking too much. This could be a third-party situation. We're going to get more cards out and see. But... So for this uh, to be coming out, this could be also, too, that you've been alone for some time um, and maybe wanting more social gatherings. You could be going through a rough time, a rough patch right now where uh, you don't feel like celebrating because this card in the upright is like celebration. It's uh, getting together with friends. So in reverse, this may just kind of feel like you want to be alone right now. Let's see what else this is about. Tell me about Three of Cups energy in reverse for Capricorn. Please tell me about Capricorn. <clears throat> okay. So it seems as though you may be leaving a situation a third party situation that maybe you thought was your soulmate. This could have been a lover, a lover energy here. Um, or this could be uh, leaving behind a best friend that was a soulmate, a business partner that, that was a soulmate. <clears throat> yeah, there was definitely some, some indifference, okay? Not agreeing. Somebody trying to get one over on you. This is energy of could be defeat you could feel defeated um, but there's a lot of people on this card so there's some guys in the background they're feeling kind of defeated um, but this is like a card of being defeated unfairly so this guy in the front he feels kind of victorious he feels like uh, haha I beat you you know uh, really foolishly this is really uh, for some of you you may feel defeated or you may feel like the other guy. You may feel like you want to win at all costs. You want to get back at this person, it seems, uh, in a way. Because they were supposed to be your soulmate. And there was some type of interference. Third party in reverse. It's like a negative third party. It could have been work. It could have been uh, the gym. It could have been another person, but something interfered. It could have been friends and family. You never know. So now, now it seems that you're moving on uh, in this new journey, in this new phase, seeking adventure. Uh, for some of you, there could be someone new coming in, or you could be thinking about a fire sign. But this card is just like seeking passion and getting excited about a new journey, going out on a new journey, seeing what else is possible for you. It seems like this ended uh, not too well. Um, there's this energy of bitterness here, okay? But you're moving forward now and you're done with it. You wanna get excited about your future, excited about a new adventure, 
Passionate, look here, full on the bottom, exactly. Aries energy, optimistic about the future. Getting to start all over, this is brand new. He's a little bit naive. He might fall off this cliff if he's not careful. But that's the energy with the sun behind him. He's, he's excited. Okay, so this is good for you, Capricorn. Your life is a canvas. This is spirit saying you can have anything you want. Maybe things didn't go the way that you thought, but you have these new opportunities. You have this new opportunity here. Ace of Pentacles. After heartbreak, because things weren't equal, you gave your all to this connection and they didn't give anything. It wasn't, it wasn't stable. And so now you need stability. And you're going to be doing this for yourself. You need to find balance. And that's what you're doing. You're finding balance by focusing on your money, focusing on your future, making plans. You have a new opportunity here. And so now it's just about listening to this guidance. Lay this burden down. If this thing is still weighing on you and stressing you out, this has to be laid down. This is too heavy and it's over. See the Roman numeral 10? It's done. It's over already. It's complete. So let it go. Now you're planning a new phase of your life. And as you do this, as you get excited about this future, you come into this great success. Victory. Public recognition. Getting the credit you deserve. And, and this is a passionate, creative thing. Whether this is career or new love. Sometimes this can represent a wedding. Okay, but this is like you planning for your future success. This is worrying about you and going out on your own with your higher guidance here. With these, your intuition coming in, your star ancestors, the magic within you. Spirit has your back. The universe has your back and you don't even have to question it. So you're coming into your own emotional abundance. You're coming into your own fulfillment and you're doing it all on your own. You don't need anybody else. You're planning for your finances. You're planning for what's going to make you have this happy family, joyous feeling that that you need, this fulfillment that you're going to find. I, for some of you, you're going to be working more so with kids. Okay, maybe you already have a lot of kids and you're, you're creating this happy family on your own. Okay, that's obviously, it's only going to be for some of you. For others of you, you could have left a, a relationship, a business partnership, a friendship, something like that where you feel like someone used you in a business or a friendship whatever and now you're you're looking out uh towards more positive exciting things and new opportunities come in when you do that when you're able to let go and put this thing down from the past that pain or that suffering or um you know that thing you have to get over even when it's a friendship you know it's still painful when when those things end because you need it to be equal Whatever you give, you need to be getting out. You know, whatever you take, you need to be giving. Same thing. But there's a scales here. So there's a little Libra aspect. There's a justice aspect to this card. This man is giving to charity, giving back, volunteering. You may work with homeless or um, donate often. But you're definitely thinking about your future. We've got two twos here. 22 is a master builder. So... Capricorn, you're building success here. You will have great victory if you listen to your higher guidance. Okay, you already know. You're hearing this already. You know this. You can have this emotional fulfillment. You can have this happy feeling, everything you want. You're doing it on your own. You do have a king of swords here on the bottom with the tower and the devil. Oh, yeah. So some of you were dealing with a really negative person, someone who's harsh with his tongue. Uh, the devil energy is someone very controlling. Maybe you felt trapped. The tower was something probably shocking or surprising that came in. But this is clearing, this cleared your pathway. This saved you. This was, what do they call that? I guess it's like a blessing in disguise, but it's like spirit pulled you out of this whether it was painful or not because that wasn't for you no one deserves to go through this this is your own energy here but this with this king of swords and the towers like 
this person tried to control everything. You know, it was like they had the last word. What they say goes. Just very mental, talk and talk and talk and talk type of energy. I don't like this energy. I mean, for others of you, this is like you letting this go now. Okay? You letting this go now and you're going to piss this guy off. <laughs> for some of you, okay, look, because you see, you're still kind of dealing with it. This is like, we don't agree, but you still kind of have to deal with it. You want to go off on your own, but this thing, this heavy burden was still weighing on your mind, even down here, and this heartbreak was still weighing. You're still kind of going over stuff in your head. So to me, it's like, if you haven't put this to an end yet, when you finally cut this person out, whether it be through legal means uh, or location, you know, completely moving, whatever, when you block them, you may get a restraining order on this person. When you block them, that's when their tower moment comes in. I think you already had your tower moment up in here somewhere. But then this is like, I don't know. They, they start missing their Capricorn, it seems. Okay? I mean, that could have happened in the past. So what I'm saying now is you need to cut this person out for good. Quit worrying about them. You've got all this good stuff coming in, this healing that needs to take place, um, this equality that you're looking for the stability that you're creating on your own through listening to your higher guidance. And this is your energy here. So Capricorn, my battery died. Anyways, what I was saying is, this person is either very controlling, narcissistic, etc. Or once you cut him out, or her, this is just a king, that's why I said he, once you cut this energy out, or you're very clear about this, that this is over with, this devil energy starts to really feel this tower moment. So maybe you already had your tower moment, but I feel this person that you're dealing with hasn't felt it yet. So when you get really harsh and cut them out, they start to feel it and their life starts to crumble in shambles, seriously. And then they feel trapped and they feel stuck. Uh, for others of you, this is their energy. They created this tower moment. Okay, for another group, or if take it how it resonates, this is your energy, and this is about you cutting them out, creating and transforming your life through this process, and just being super hardworking. But um, this energy can be obsessive, so be careful not to overindulge get too wrapped up into work, you know, but I really feel strongly um, that this phase is done with. So you just need to cut this person out, block them if you have to, restraining order if you have to. Okay, because this person is just way too controlling. So, aside from that, I pulled this card from this deck when I didn't know that my battery died. Uh, and this is about a change in direction. And I keep getting this message for you guys about kids. I mean, I got it here earlier. I really feel like if you don't have your own kids or working with kids, there's something about you. Maybe you need to get back to your childhood type energy, you know, looking at life like this fool, just very optimistic and childlike. Or whatever it is that you'll be doing, you will be positively affecting children. So this says, the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love. Oh, to open our heart to love and our guidance. I was like, what? <laughs> you are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes that you desire. Because remember, your life is a canvas. And it all comes back around, doesn't it? Let's see if there's any more things for guidance. Okay, yep. See only love. Okay, so, yeah, for some of you, if you're pissed off at this person, <laughs> do not hold a grudge towards this person. They are going to have their own tower moments. They're going to have to have their own transformation, their own karma crap to deal with so what you have to do is 
focus on what you're creating, this new direction, this this uh, listening to your guidance and developing this new path for yourself uh, and manifesting whatever you want in that path by seeing only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person. I know it's so hard, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. It says that. I didn't make it up. Undreamed of. Okay, so see only love. Try not to hold a grudge with this person. You know, just look at it as they were a lesson for you. And hopefully you were a lesson for them. Maybe not, probably not, but not for you to worry about, right? They'll get theirs in the end if you feel like they crossed you. But your job now, Capricorn, is to see only love. So thank you for watching this reading. If you made it to the end, please like and subscribe. Please comment if it resonated for you. That helps me and others. And I will see you in the next one.